Yo, what is going on? Brendan with Atlas Stationers, coming to you live from Chicago. We have another jam-packed day for our Yaffa virtual takeover happening right now on Instagram Live. How y'all doing today? It's good to be back. Thank you to all of you who tuned in last week for the Kenro takeover. It was absolutely fantastic. We had a phenomenal time. Today we do have a lot on the agenda, so make sure you tune in. The schedule is as follows. At 10 a.m., so right now we will be going over Peniter. At 12 p.m. Central Time, we will be going over Monteverde and Conklin and Yookers. And then at 2 p.m. Central Time, we will be going over Diplomat, Stipula, Myora. So we've got a jam-packed day. We're gonna play some trivia. We're gonna give some prizes away and make sure you stay to the very end because we will be giving away a Peniter Arco Blue Bee, which retails at $700. This is gonna be crazy, guys. Thank you for tuning in. What is going on? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna invite the special guest up today and then we'll kind of go over the agenda as well as how you guys can participate in the crazy promotions and in the trivia and in the grand prize giveaway. Without further ado, let me find him. We're bringing on Ken Jones, live from D. Here we go, guys. Super stoked. Hey, my man. The I'm here. Baby. What's up, Ken? How are you? What's up? Oh, dude, those shades are sick, man. Those are sick. So, I had to uh, excellent. You know, get in line. Dude, I love it. So for those of you who don't know, we did just launch the new rewards program, the A-Team. You have to work your way up, spend a certain amount of dollars to become a VIP member and a member of the A-Team. Ken Jones is one of the OG members. When you become part of the A-Team, you have to wear shades inside. That is the only rule. So awesome, Ken. How you doing, man? Good. I can't see anything, but good. Don't worry. We'll take them off in a second. Once we jump into the pens, we'll take it off. I got to bask in the moment. Dude, you look fly. I love it. Okay. Look, Iron Maiden, we keep it going. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, I could have guessed that. You're going to like <laughs> my uh, my craftsmanship that I had for you today. Real good Excellent. stuff. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is Ken Jones with Yappa. Ken, do you want to give yourself a little introduction, who you are, what you do? Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm Ken Jones. I'm the VP of sales for Yappa Brands, and uh, we are the manufacturer and distributor of Mon Monteverde and Conklin. We are the USA distributor for Diplomat, Mayora, Stipula, Peniter, Marlin, and Yookers. Oh, so we're always got a lot of things going on, a lot of busy going There's on. There's always. Every time I text or call you, it's always like, one second, one second. I'm on 20 calls. So I know you're always busting to give the people what they need. Yeah, so absolutely. Fantastic. So, Ken, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain how today is going to go real quick, if you don't mind. So I gave the schedule earlier. We'll be doing three separate Instagram live videos. Ken will be the special guest on all three. So you guys get to know his face. And <laughs> throughout the events, we did have a, a promotion code that we wanted to release. So it is on our website, atlasstationers.com. We're offering an additional 20% off all of Yafa's products through this weekend. If you guys miss out on the sale, we can't do anything about it. All that information is on the website or you can DM us for the special coupon. All right, so Ken, I had my setup. I think you got your setup, correct? I got a pretty good setup, yeah. Excellent, excellent. So we'll start with some of the Peniter pens, then we'll move on into trivia, and then we'll also explain later how you can enter in the grand prize. So if you're all set to rock, I'm gonna flip my camera, show you my setup real quick. Nice. Unbelievable. And then uh, we also got some leather that we'll showcase too, uh, probably at the end. Okay. Here we go. Oh, shoot. What is that? What, what is that? Oh, dang. What is that? <laughs> That's the best. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what this is. I remember that your lifelong dream is you want to play in the band, bro. <laughs> For sure. So before we get started, actually, this is for you and all the fans. I'll make sure to autograph it at the end of the day. So we wanted to understand what it's like to be Kenified. And so what that means is you are every member in the band. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Wait, so that's Iron Maiden. Perfect. Look at that. Stogie Ken <laughs> on the loose. Every band member. 
this is Metallica. This is my absolute favorite. That is so funny. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Here's Foreigner. Hey, we actually photoshopped your own face out of this one too. <laughs> we put your own face I, on top. I was of in that picture. You were. I don't know why we did that, but I guess we wanted you to have a stogie like everyone else. <laughs> okay. All Here's right. Motley Crue, or should we the say best. Kenny Crew? Right. And then this is the best one right here. This is Ken with Kenny Strauss. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Yeah, Nita Strauss. She's going to love you for that. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I'm glad you like it. It took a long it. time to make, believe it or not. And uh, I haven't made a, a project like that in quite some time. So yeah, I'll I need make that. sure that we save this. we'll save this bad boy for you. I'll autograph it, and you can hang it up as your uh, living room centerpiece. I know your wife will like it. I'll put it in my office. <laughs> even better. Even better. Cool, Ken. All right, man. So uh, if you don't mind, we're going to try to keep that as the background the entire day. Okay. That way you can look at your, your good-looking self. Perfect. Cool. All right, man. So we explained what's going down today, and now we have the agenda for Paniter. Now, I know a lot – oh, my goodness. Let me flip that up. I know a lot of new product has recently been released, so I'd like to start with all of that. So, okay. Ian, I think the first thing we've got on the list is the full metal jacket. What do you think about jumping in on that? Sure. Full metal jacket. Um, I'm going to yeah, flip my camera. Out. Yes. I'm going to flip my camera. And full metal jacket is a brand new pen that is in the La Grande Belletza profile. And basically what it is, is um, it's UR material. And what they've done, they've actually added some metal alloy to it. So it looks metal, but it's not. It's an unbreakable La Grande Belletza full metal jacket, uh, magnetic closure, comes in six colors, uh, and ballpoint roller and fountain pen. And the good news about this in the steel nib, uh, they, they have a steel nib now, which is retails for $248. And that is a cartridge converter. And the solid gold nib pen is a piston filler. Um, and that is $498. So, I do not have the gold nib one yet, but I do have the steel one. And it, that's a really good value, man. It's a great value because the price came down. Uh, the ballpoint and rollerball used to retail for you know, 298 and 398 and now they are 198 and 188 So it's a, it's a killer pen for a killer price. Yes, and, these uh, are, all of you, these are available on our website right now, atlasstationers.com. If you see a particular color in the video that we don't have uploaded yet, just shoot us a DM and we will make sure we get it for you. These are brand new. I know you're still shipping them all out. So we're doing yeah, every week. To keep up with the demand. Absolutely. Absolutely. So if you don't mind me asking, uh, why did Dante decide to go with so many blues? I mean, I know blue is really hot, so I'm, I'm happy he did. You know, it, you know, sometimes for Dante's thought process, we don't quite – sometimes his thought process, you know, we can't understand. But <laughs> I, I really couldn't understand it until I saw it. But now that I see it, I, I love it. You know, I think the sugar paper is a really nice blue, the light blue one. And the uh, the lightning blue is, is is my favorite actually. It's Chris, man. It, it's yeah, plastic. It looks it's like it's a metal pen, but it's unbreakable plastic. It's the it's really nice, man. Really, really nice. Yeah, in my opinion, I think the sugar paper and I think this is the ash gray. These are going to cold be the gray. top sellers. Oh, this is the cold gray. Yeah, these are going to be the top sellers because I think it's a lighter blue, calmer. You see a lot of the swirl action going on on each unit. I think these yeah, are you're be actually the right. That's gray. Sorry. Yeah. That is, yeah. So, yeah. So that, uh, and it, it's hard to tell in the video, but the the um, there's actually swirling components in the like red and the blue that you can't see. I'll try oh, to yeah. try to get close there. It's hard to really see it, but there are some swirls in the in the red and the blue. Just a little harder to see. Yeah, I didn't notice that before, but now taking a second look, there definitely is. Yes. 
and no, you know, no two, yeah, no two pens are alike. So, excellent. And then uh, also for the the ball points, the good news is they take just the standard international Schmidt style yep. refill. You could do gel. You could do uh, the oil, the ballpoint or roller in these. Honestly, yeah. a really slick twist mechanism. That's how you can judge a good ballpoint pen is how well it catches. And Great merc. No Great issues with that. Then you got the spring loaded clip. Yep. That's fantastic. And for those of you who don't know, I didn't know this at first, Ken, but all of these Valetzas have the phrase, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog inscribed on the band. Yes, it does. Yeah. It's tough for the camera to pick up, but that's just really cool of the detail that you guys added. Yeah, it's there on every pen for sure. Yeah. Yeah, these are going to be hot, man. I mean, honestly, all Penider pens are hot, so. <laughs> A oh, man. <laughs> yes. Cool. So yeah, those yeah. are available on our site. Uh, we've got as much up on the web as possible before the events. If you see a color, DM us right now, and we'll make sure we can get that allocated to you. Um, moving on, Ken, the Avatar Deluxes, I know, are going to be the next heavy hitter for the day. So what what is the the difference between the – Older avatars with the steel nids, and then what you guys did with the deluxes. What are the biggest differences? All right, I'll show you. Um, the, the big difference, okay, there's the three differences. Um, the one difference is that the pen has gold trim. So it's gold trim throughout instead of the silver trim. The second difference is the grip section. The grip section matches the, the pen. Instead of a, a, a metal section, you have a plastic section that, that matches the pen. And then the third big difference is you've got the Hyperflex nib, the 14 karat nib, which is one of the best nibs out on the market today. And it is uh, just an amazing pen to write with. Uh, and the best news of all is we have made this at a price where many can get. Uh, the retail price is three hundred and sixty-eight dollars. I know that on Atlas.com you have uh, you have it under under three hundred. So it's a it's a great pen, great nib. It writes wonderful, and it's unbreakable. Also, it's crazy. Yeah, honestly, I don't yeah. understand how it could get much better than that. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. So I've got the lineup of some of the uh, the fountains right here, and here are some of the roller balls. The magnetic yeah, rollers are basically the same thing, just it's a roller ball, gold trim. It matches the grip section. Really nice roller ball. Yeah, and then another great piece uh, designed on the band. What is that? The skyline of Florence. Italy? That's the skyline of Florence, exactly. You got the Duomo. I think the Palazzo Vecchio. There's some nice things on there. Yes. Yeah, and then some really nice marbleization, if that's even a word, on these pens as well. So no two will be alike. No two um, alike except the black one, yeah. Except the black one, yeah. yeah. So just, just for some, some reference, I've got both the regular avatar on my left side and then the deluxe on the right. Yes. Regular avatar also, yeah. These are beautiful. Uh, Ken, give me one second. I'm going to read the chat. There's been a lot of people type in. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm, I'm reading some of them. You guys, again, if you're looking for any of these friends, you don't see it on our site, just shoot us a DM. The video will be posted so you can go back for a reference so we can set you up. Um, let's see. Oh, Ken, they all said they love the glasses. You're a cool guy. <laughs> hey, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see, let's see. Everyone's giving you the Ken Jones, the rock on, this thing. Good. Let's go. Honestly, I was going to attempt to draw that on here, but I would have ruined it. <laughs> no, no. It's, it's perfect, actually. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh, sorry, one second. Good stuff on the full metal jackets. Those blues are hot. Buying now. Yes. Somebody already bought one. Congratulations. That's a fantastic deal. Enjoy it. Enjoy, enjoy. Uh, no medium nib. You guys, we can, we can set you up with the proper nib size if it's not on our website, so... Do you have it with the gold nib? Uh, call us or DM us with the gold nib uh, question, and we'll make sure we get you set up. I think Paniter – I'm sorry, Ken? Yeah, the pens are coming in every three or four days, so we're catching up on all the orders by – I think the end of next week we'll have 
everything in stock and at the deal at your at your shop. Excellent. No problem. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So it's all coming soon. You guys are beating the curve right now because not many places have these yet. Um, and no, who's ever commenting about the Cartier pens? We are not going over Cartier pens. You go on our website, we have the full schedule events. We are only going over products that are owned and distributed by Yaffa. Uh, Ken, I think I went through the chat. Let's move on to the next section. So I wanted to go over and show the Arco. So the blue bee yeah. and the oak. Do you have those? Sure. Today? I do. Hold on. There is the Arco, the Arco and the Blue Bee. The Arco is the brown one on the left. Uh, that is still available, almost sold out. Less than 50 fountain pens are available worldwide. Um, it, that's still available. The Blue Bee is brand new, came out in March. And the Blue Bee is beautiful. It's really hard to tell. I'll try to get close, but it's blue and yellow stripes. Um, beautiful um, just layering of the material so all that all that material is la is layered at a, a, a four degree angle so you actually it looks like they're sort of crooked but they're not <laughs> but yeah. that's just the, the, good, the beautiful um, the beautiful lines uh, it's a wonderful pen the Arco was a, a big success we sold so many of these and the Blue Beast doing great also and uh, solid nib, magnetic closure just like everything else piston filler and uh black grip section so that's the big difference from the from the arco which is a metal section i'll try to get that out for you yeah it's a metal section so that's the metal section the blue bee has a black section so that's the big difference uh and of course, the color is different for sure, but it's a beautiful pen. 888 pieces, limited edition, worldwide on ballpoint, rollerball, and fountain pen. Excellent. And Excellent. solid gold nib. Yep. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, isn't that what we're giving away today? Yes, we are giving away a Blue Bee fountain pen. Retails your, at your, your choice of nib. Yep, your choice of nib retails for $698. And uh, Ken, you are crazy. When you told me that uh, you were interested in doing that, my uh, jaw dropped, my heart stopped. I was like, I need to figure out how to enter in this myself. <laughs> yeah, hey. <laughs> Employees of Atlas Stationery cannot enter. <laughs> Don't worry. We got that in the super small font on the website. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Ken, I want to enter too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. A uh, couple, couple questions came in. Um, sure. Was there a white full metal jacket? I think they might be referring to the uh, one of the grays, the ash gray. Yeah, the ash gray is gray with some some swirls in it. The sugar paper is like a light blue, so it's it's really light the blue. But there is no um, there is no all white. There's no, there's no all white in this. No. Okay, and then somebody's asking, uh, Jr. I think Puffton, if that's how you pronounce your name, you bought the fine nib, but would prefer a medium. We'll take a note of that, and we'll make sure we update your order. Uh, people are inquiring, are there any plans for broad nibs on the avatars? Are those available? Not at this time, no. Not at this time, but uh, I think in the future, uh, there will be a broad and a stub, but it's going to be next year. You know, the, the nib production, steel nib production, is a year sometimes it takes you know so but there is a um there is a possibility that next year there'll be broad and stub in uh -oh. steel foreshadowing guys let's see if we can make it yes. happen um let's see vanessa needs a blue bee well good luck today in the giveaway <laughs> brendan's customer service is a plus thank you so much we do it for you guys i got to meet dante once he's a really neat guy yes so Dante is the lead designer for Pniter. The guy is a legend. We had the opportunity to have you fly in with him back in February. That was a great yes. time. I mean, hearing him explain the pens and the soft process is, it's, it's hard to comprehend that somebody can think of these ideas to implement on a pen. It's, it's insane. He's, he's constantly, constantly thinking of new ideas. He calls me at least once a week 
we throw ideas back and forth. He, uh, he's always, um, you know, ahead of the game all the time. People always ask him, what's his favorite pen? And he said, the next one. The next one. It's yeah. always, the next one is always his favorite pen. So that, that's how you know he's a, he's great a fantastic per- designer. He is. He is. He knows one, he's one of the best. best. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, Ken. So do you have anything else to say about the, uh, oh, well, real quick, actually, if you buy the Arco Oak, it actually comes with the Penider filler. Yes, the pen filler. Yes. So Absolutely. this is about $20, $25 in value. 25 in the bottle. Yep. Yeah, you can actually fill up your pen with it. So great for traveling. I saw that in there. I wanted to show it. Um, but let's let's keep it rolling. Next up on the list, we've got the avatars. We kind of talked about it already. I'll just show the yep. real quick. Uh, do you have any avatar demos near you? Yes, I'll do it right now. There's the avatar demos. Yeah, these are great. There's, so trans- Yeah, there's one big difference. Uh, we, we changed in uh, Jan- late January, we changed the grip sections from the rubber grip section on the rollerball and fountain to the metal grip section like the regular avatars. And then we also lowered the price from 198 retail to the same retail price as the other avatar. Excellent. That is, I mean, $158 retail. It's a, it's a killer pen. So that's the old grip section, Brendan, you have. Yes. Yeah, so as, as you reorder and they come in, they're going to be a metal like the original Avatar. Yep, exactly. So I think it's going to be great. Uh, we, the demos are really nice. Um, and uh, no new colors in the future on those. We did do, you know, the forest green which was um, brand new. Yeah, you got that there. Yeah, the forest green was brand new uh, in, fe- in February. So nothing. there was supposed to be a yellow one, but the, they couldn't get the color right, so that's probably for next year. So. Hey, you know what? I respect that, though, because it's good that they didn't just push it out the door if they weren't satisfied. And it's exactly. Like, exactly. It's it's a lot much quality. That's Dante. Cool. Uh, next up on the list, I've got Honeycomb. So you want to go over the Honeycombs? Yeah, Honeycomb is a, a pen that's still available. Um, it's almost sold out. That's the Black Prince and the Black Knight. So those are solid acrylic pens that are individually drilled, the holes. It's actually, you can, it's see-through. You can, it's, it's all the way through. Each hole has to be polished. Um, by hand, it's a it's a lot of work on this pen. Um, solid gold nib, 888 pieces, and they did make a rollerball on that also. And um, it's just a cool pen, you know. It's I'm trying to push Dante to do a solid titanium one with honeycomb. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, so we're working on it for next year. But yeah, hey, and that's the black pen. Is uh, what if you guys were able to do that pen in like a glass? Like well, glass. yeah, but you could do it in a, it's hard. It's, it's, it, the problem is the drilling, it, it will crack, it cracks. So it's, there's a lot of waste. Like when they make that pen, every third pen is, is damaged. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's a lot of work on that for sure. Yeah, yeah you know, it seems like a frustrating process, but you know, if you can stick it out, then it's definitely worth it. Yes. Uh, Vanessa's asking, what's so special about the number 888? You know, few reasons, but 888, you know, like I always say, the best numbers are number one and the last number in addition. So 888 in this pen is, the, you know, the last number. So that's important. But 888 is a good luck number, especially for the, you know, Far East and uh, other places. 888 is a lucky number, like 88, number 8, 18, 36. It's, it's, uh, these are just lucky numbers that are hard to come by. You know, when, when you're ordering these, you know, so good. I'll take uh, every number one and every eight eight eight. Right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. No I, problem. Uh, Ken, moving forward, I've got the the big hitter, the our mind set. Um, do you have one with you? Yeah, I actually have. You know, I was nice enough. I was lucky enough to get a Christmas gift from Dante, which was the the Armand set. Oh my goodness! Yeah, and it's an artist proof, so it's not numbered. It's numbered AP. Um, there's only a hundred sets made worldwide, 
Um, if you're looking at the picture on the left side is the rainbow, which is a solid stainless steel pen that is uh, rainbow PVD. And it's actually open, so it's like the mystery filler. Uh, you can actually touch the mechanism inside. Um, and it's a solid gold nib. I love the clip. The clip is one of my favorite clips ever in the 26 years I've been doing pens. I love this clip. Um, and so that's that one. Then the one on the right side is solid bronze, antique bronze. So that has black trims. That has three openings on the bottom instead of two, like the first one. Uh, and that is, uh, that's a, that's a killer pen. And there's, you can buy the rainbow and the bronze separately. Um, all come with this ring that is, uh, that the pens stand in and it's made of wood. And then the, the Holy Grail pen is the middle pen, which is only available in the set. And that is solid titanium. Um, that is just one of the best pens I think Dante's ever made. I mean, this set is one of the best pens he's ever made. So um, that is rose gold trim, uh, solid gold nib, and only 100 made. And they are almost sold out. They are, uh, you know, 100 pens worldwide. I think, you know, in the U.S., we sold a third of them for sure. And, uh, you know, we, we're still selling them. So great pen. I love this. It's on my desk. I look at it every day. It's your baby, Ken. It's your baby. It's my baby, <laughs> yes, for now. For today, yes. Excellent. Yeah, guys, the designs on these are just fantastic. And uh, the packaging, too, you know, that wood circle. Oh, it's amazing. That, that really premium style box right there. It's, it's really good. What is the set run at? What's the retail price? The retail price on the three-piece set is $49.98, $4,998. Excellent, um, excellent. It's really amazing. The, the, the bronze pen is thirteen ninety eight, and the rainbow pen is fifteen ninety eight. Retail price suggested. So I know as of now, you guys, we are sold out of this one. We have one of these left. Uh, if you're interested in this one individually, I'm sure Ken might have a couple left. We'll get yeah, we have. Out. Yes. Okay, excellent. Yep. Excellent. Then we we have all three right pens. Yep. Oh, okay, fantastic. So there yep. you guys go. This would be the opportunity to get it, too. It's yes any less than what we're offering it at today so yeah honestly I, I just feel so legendary just holding it <laughs> it's an amazing pen it really is it really you feel is. the power it's, it's it's mightier than the sword dude it's insane i know i know excellent excellent um cool people like the rose gold somebody's looking for a sugar daddy the middle pen gives me the vapors for sure <laughs> excellent okay so that that's the heavy hitter for today, guys. All the info is on our website. Very, very limited. Uh, like Ken said, typically when, when a limited edition comes out, what would you say is the general percentage of the models, the units that make it into the States? You know, we're lucky like we the get pretty... No, majority... Uh, most come yeah. here for Paniter. It might not be true in other brands, but most come here for Paniter. Um, we... Okay sold most of the Arco, like five or 600 of them of the 888. So yeah. it just depends on, you know, what it is. But we, in Pernaga, we get most, most everything. Um, so yeah. there's one thing, I don't know if it's on the agenda, but it's Back to the Future on the agenda? Yes, and it, it was not actually, but somebody was asking about it. If you want to go over it. I have it here. Okay, I was going to save it, yeah. it for the end, but let's just jump right in right now, dude. Let's, okay, let's, let's do it. We're talking limiteds, you know? Yeah, I love it. So, I love it. So Back to the Future, I'm just going to flip my camera. Back to the Future is a new limited edition that just start starting to come in next week. So the picture you see in the middle is actually a picture of the uh, Paniter store in 1949, which is at the Palazzo Vecchio, near the Palazzo Vecchio in Florence. Um, this was like the, the reinvigoration of like the Italians, Italians coming back after World War II. So Dante made a pen to commemorate this. It's called Back to the Future. Um, each pen comes with a book. It is a book that was actually written in 1949 and reproduced about 25 years ago. And it's all things, all things from 1949 Italy. So you see Vespas and just things that happened in 1949. It's a cool book that has advertisements, 
uh, actors, you name it. It's a very cool book. Each the book the book is free. It comes with the pen. It's in the packaging. Now, the best part is the pen, obviously. So I'm gonna flip my camera. Here we go. Back to it. So here's the pen. So the pen is a carbon fiber like material, a spring loaded clip, which is here, a magnetic cap, which I'm gonna set this down for a second, but the cap's magnetic. It comes with the uh, Hyperflex nib. Wow. And then that's the piston filler. So the pen itself looks like a calamus, like a, what the, what, you know, back in the day they wrote with like the bamboo, you know? So you can see the raw material inside. So there's going to be a fountain pen. Which, well, also, what's cool about this pen is the clip. The clip is spring-loaded, and the spring is actually where that screw is. So it's, it's built Whoa. into the – no one ever got – I think you guys didn't get that right, remember? Yeah. <laughs> when Dante I, was quizzing I, us. You know? Yeah, so it's a very, very cool pen that is a, really just – one of the one of the best things Dante's done. It will come in a rollerball also, and uh, every pen comes with a book. Comes in this packaging. Um, it's really special, special, and that's coming out this week, next week. So. Oh um, man, I know we've I know. our mutual order set, so you guys could be one of the first people with it. Uh, Ken, I can't recall which nib sizes we have, but I'm assuming if somebody wants a different nib, they can order it from us and we can get it, correct? Yeah, you ordered 100 of them, so you're good. Oh, good. That's the entire <laughs> stock, right? We got them all. Monopoly. Exactly. <laughs> no, the, uh, the, and what's great about this pen, we really quizzed everybody on the retail price. If you remember at dinner with Dante, we quizzed the price and everyone was high, high, high. So I'm pretty the, sure I was the, like, like three times as much higher. <laughs> yeah, you said 1700 but yeah, you were a little high. So this pen retails for $898, and the Rollerball retails for $598. It is an unbelievable pen. It really is. Just You got to feel it. It's just amazing. amazing That's insane. I, I, I yeah. remember I was, I was like, are you sure it's not worth $1,700? <laughs> right, no. It's, we plan on selling these fast, yes. Nice. Uh, in the, and, they, and they made 949 so they're 949, so they will go quickly, guys. Envy, you can call us right now to pre-order. We have our absolutely that will answer yes. the phone and take good care of you. So, yeah, I can't imagine that it will be any less expensive than what it is today with the crazy promotion. So it's either you guys pull the trigger now or you're paying 1700. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right for two of them. <laughs> excellent, excellent. No, but so, so you it's said good. So, it's going to be good. About 950 in the roller and about 950 each of the fountain pens in terms of units. And then what was Yeah, the 949. Price? Okay. What was the price? Because it's 1949, yeah. Okay. What was the price? 898 for the fountain pen retail and 598 for the roller. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Yep. So there you have it. That's the retail price. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I did get yeah. that sneak peek like you mentioned uh, a few months ago, and I think it's real important to understand how much time and effort is put into these products. You know, he has the whole theme set up. He has the book with it. It's not like you just say, oh, we're going to make a, a new color. This is a, I'm going to make a whole new pen, a whole new story with history, inspiration. So I don't know, man. That's one of the coolest things I've And this was two so, years in the making. Two years in the making. Jeez. That yeah. is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Uh, oh my yep. God, somebody uh, was, can you address the issue of the former problem with the Avatar cat fan scratching the resin? Yeah, that's long ago fixed. Uh, like a year and a half ago, it was fixed. They just changed the uh, it's inner cap and it's, it's taken care of. Yep. Okay, no excellent. They said, I know yeah. this issue was corrected and want to buy an Avatar that doesn't have the issue. So any Avatar you have doesn't have the issue. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. So, so we're set on that. Anything you order from us, it's it's all patched up. Uh, someone's asking, when is the Matrix one coming out? Is that a thing? Oh, the Matrix. Who? Yeah, very good. That's next year. Next, next year. year. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Well, cool. Yes. It looks like we'll have to have you back uh, on Instagram Live next year as well, Ken. Anytime. We Anytime. Love it. All right, moving forward, uh, we'll, we'll try to speed things up a little bit. I'm having too much fun, but we got to make sure people have time to shop in between the videos. 
Otherwise, it's sure. going to be a six hour straight Instagram live video. Right. <laughs> exactly. Um, next up I've got is the Forge Carbon. Yes. Yeah, the Forge Carbon. Another thing that's never been done in pens before. Um, forge Carbon, you know, most of the time when you when you have a carbon fiber pen like we have in Monteverdi, you know, you that's woven carbon fiber. So this carbon fiber is raw carbon fiber layered and then put into a mold. And when it's in the mold, it's heated up. And it's very, very technical thing because there's a lot of uh, waste because if it's a millisecond too long, it melts. If you don't do it long enough, it doesn't look good. So it's a very technical pen. Um, you see this forged carbon in like dashboards of Lamborghinis and Ferraris. But if that is real raw carbon fiber, not coated. And then you can see it melted and it swirled. So that is a really unique, unique pen. It has the mystery filling uh, piston. So the piston is a mystery filler. And um, that's still available. It comes in rollerball and fountain pen. And it's $998 retail. Ken, I think it'll probably be smart to uh, go straight into the mystery filler since we've spoke about yes. the mechanism quite a bit but we haven't really gone over it yes so i've got the uh mystery filler right here and it's defined by the internal piston filling mechanism correct it locks in yeah in place. exactly so you push that button and then you turn it you can see all the workings it's a really a regular piston which with a different a different take on how the piston goes up and down but it's uh it's really a, a great mechanism that you can see working. It's, you know, Dante's invention, again. Um, magnetic on the back, yeah, post-magnetically. Um, it's, it's a great pen. And when the button is pushed in, you, it, you can't accidentally turn the piston and fill. It has to be out. So it's really, really nice pen. So that mechanism is in the forged carbon. Exactly, exactly. So yep. it is in here. It just was easier to, to show the demonstration. I like to have a mystery filler on hand with the, the demonstrator one because of the fact you can show how it works on the interior. Uh, something to keep yeah. in mind, you know Dante's big on. So when you uncap one of his pens, he recommends that you do a, a twist rather than just straight pull it up. Because when you yep. twist it, the magnetic fields will uh, align and they'll actually pop each other away from each other if that makes sense exactly exactly so it's cool i mean it just naturally comes undone it's 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 unbelievable every amazing detail about the pens man you, you learn something new every day about one of his pen models so uh i showed the the sugar one the sugar white and then this is the black russian i believe is that correct yep that's correct yeah so this one you can actually see the rose gold appointments on the interior the band the nib yep the, he, he blackened the spring inside. It's blackened. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Those are still available. Still available. Perfect. And uh, hold on. We've got a few more people. A uh, couple more people were asking. So the chrome grip sections uh, on the avatars are fixed. I think that's what Ken was talking about. Uh, if anybody has a scratch one, they can just, you know, we can replace it. It's no problem. It's easy. We okay. have extras at Yafa, yeah. Okay, so you guys can either contact us, we'll get you taken care of, or you can contact Ken. Uh, yeah, you can just email me, it's fine, or, or email Ross at the office, it's fine. Yep. Perfect, perfect. Yep. Um, Vanessa's checking her Ferrari to make sure that the materials are indeed similar. Please, Vanessa, make sure, yeah. Uh, do <laughs> magnets scratch the back? No, they do not. No, yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, so moving forward, we've now got the daily leather. So I, I did set it up. I know I have uh, almost the full set of the black. So you want to talk about the leather? I know it just came out this year in the U.S. And, and yeah, the, the leather okay. is um, yeah, the leather is just a new collection. Paniter is really you know known for leather and stationery for you know since their beginning. Um, their leather is all made in Florence. Everything here is handmade in Florence. Um, they wanted to come out with a new collection that was like daily, that you could use it all the time. 
that wasn't like these crazy prices and uh, all still handmade in, in Florence. So Atlas uh, in February, we were the first you know, company in the U.S. to take it in and they took it in in a, you know, a good way. They took a, a lot of good product to get a good collection and uh, it's just high quality, lifetime warrantied leather. I mean, I, it's hard to explain. Like, and there's unique pieces like uh, journal pens, pen holders for journals and uh, ear pod holders. I, I, I know and Brendan has one. You know, this yeah. is my favorite item in yes. the whole industry. I've got the brown yep. leather one, the air pod case. Yeah. It's awesome. Exactly. Uh, Vanessa, this is for you. I'm rubbing the leather for you. So, boom. And then, uh, Ken, any chance Yappa will import the 360 document case? I don't know what that is. Well, we can, we can purchase any leather plate, uh, item that, that um, Paniter offers. So we, we have no problem getting that case for you. We can get you a price. Just give your info to Atlas, to Brendan, and we'll, we'll get you a price on that. But no problem. We can get it. No problem. Fantastic. Fantastic. So uh, we have uh, most of the items up online, but again, you can refer back to the video. If there's something you see in person, uh, we carry most of the black leather, but if you really want to keep the brown leather, which is not shown today, we can also set that up. I know you guys have every single item on your website that we can always order. Um, yeah, we have Yes, it's in stock. Yeah. Excellent. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, Ken, that's going to do it for Paniter. Oh, actually, one more thing. I just noticed these. We still have a few of the Beletza ball points left, guys. So really oh. nice promotion on these. But boom. Okay. So I wanted to, to move into trivia. You know, we're approaching 45 minutes, which is a fantastic time for the video. Um, do you by chance have uh, one of the prizes that we spoke about? If not, I got to run to to my my aisle real quick. I don't have. Okay, give me one second. I'm gonna take everybody with me. Let me put on my mask. If I'm going in the store. In case you guys didn't know, we sell masks as well. Boom. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Ken. I thought I had it. Uh, I thought I had it all set up, but I do not. There's Mama T. All right. A little sneak peek of the notebook. So, you guys, I'm just grabbing uh, our trivia prizes for today. I forgot to grab them. Um, we have two questions for Paniter, I believe. Is that right, Ken? Yeah, two questions. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. Let me see. Where are we at? Ken, you got a special dance you want to do while uh, I look? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, no, you got one. I got them. Yeah, I was okay. For, okay. I, I, I have I have it open. I have okay. one open that I wanted to show the actual. Well, I don't want to give away with the prizes. I know it's part of one of the questions, but sure. Okay. All right. You so, tell me when. So here's how this is gonna work, guys. So we have a couple of trivia questions for you. How it'll work is Ken will ask the questions. You guys will provide answers in the chat. The first person that. It's the correct answer in the chat that pops up on my screen will win the respective prize. Keep in mind, we are keeping your total tally of questions correct. The person who has the most correct answers throughout all of July with the trivia will win a $100 Atlas gift card. So make sure you keep that in mind. Uh, before we sign off too, I'm going to explain uh, how you enter in the grand prize for the Arco Blue Bee. Same deal as last week. What you do is you write down the very last word said in all three videos. So if this video, the last word is practice, and the next video, the last word of the video is social, and then the third video, the last word is distancing, the phrase is practice social distancing, you DM us that at the end of the third video, and then you get put into the party that will have a chance to win the Arco Blue Bee, assuming you get the phrase correct. The winner will be selected at 8 p.m. Central Time tonight. You guys can always refer back to all the videos that will be saved on the Atlas Station Instagram. Boom, I think I explained it. Ken, here we go. Um, question number one, I can show this prize. So question number one, we are giving out a Paniter leather keychain. Beautiful. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. Question number one is, what year was Paniter founded? What year was Paniter founded, guys? That's question number one. We hope you guys were all ready to go. Yeah, I hope so, too. 
We forgot to ask for the emojis in the chat. Yes, I know. What year was the Niter founded? Boom. A year in color. That is yep. correct. 1774. 1774, yes. One of the oldest stationary shops around. That's just insane. What yes. Pen, pen shops too, pen companies. So very, very old, very trustworthy company. You know, a company that's been in business that long. I mean, they're obviously doing something. Come on, right? exactly. We ain't got nothing exactly. on them. I mean, we've got 81 years in business, so. That's pretty good. Yeah. So that's give, pretty good. Give us a couple more hundred years and we'll be good. Um, yes. Perfect. Let me just make sure I didn't miss any of the chat before. All right. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, we were looking for 1774. So a year in color, congratulations. You just won the Panida teaching. You will get to match me. I actually have one of these on mine. It makes me feel very bougie and I absolutely love it. Good. <laughs> All right, Ken, so now this next question. I don't want yep. to pull the prize because it's kind of involved in the question. So we will show sure. the prize afterwards. But here we go. Give us an emoji if you are ready for the last question for tonight, or you guys. The last trivia question. Any emoji in the chat. Do something funky. I don't like seeing the thumbs up anymore. I see them every day, guys. Do a rock on. I like to rock on. Actually, yeah, you're right. It's this. Sorry. This is like uh, Texans, dude. This is like Texans. We'll get you, yeah. No, Texans is this way. Rock on is this way. Boom. <laughs> are we ready? Uh, Yeah, give Two more seconds. Okay. All right. Let's hit it, guys. Okay. Here we go. The second question is, what city within a city was the inspiration for a popular Paniter journal? It's a good one. We're looking for – or say it again, Ken, one more time. What city within a city was the inspiration for a popular Paniter journal? Here we go. Nope. Yeah, this is a good question. It's a good one. There, here we go. There we go. All right, we got it right there. The correct <laughs> answer was Hollywood. Marilyn yeah. Gray CS4. Yes, the Hollywood Journal, and that is what you won. Perfect. Really nice journal. Ken, do you want to talk a little bit about this? I know it's a very high-end journal. Yeah, I mean, high-end in the effect where, you know, it's $39 retail, which is the least expensive journal that Penider makes. Um, it's vegan leather. It's The paper is lined. It's uh, 80 gram. It's, it's nice paper, and it's made for fountain pens. And it is in there. It tells you this, this journal is approved by Dante Del Vecchio for fountain pen writing. So it's pretty cool. It has a little history of uh, Penider there with the printing press and it's just a great journal. I use it every day. I use it every day. Excellent. And really nice texture too, actually. Yes. I'm really in love with the design. You know, a lot of journal companies out there, it's just a flat color. If they even yeah. include their logo on there, maybe it's the boss at the bottom. But, you know, it's just a really nice, classy journal. It is. So congratulations. Um, we'll see which ones we have. We'll give you some color options uh, for you to pick one. But congratulations to you two. Um, Ken, I think we're about ready to sign off. Remember, you guys, how to enter the grand prize. You have to uh, give us the phrase of three words. I always get confused explaining this. It's so difficult. You have to give us the last word of each video in a three-word phrase. If you get the phrase correctly, you will be entered into the big $700 Conider Arco Blue Bee drawing. Uh, tune back in at 12 p.m. Central Time. We'll be going over Monteverde. Uh, Conklin and Jokers. So we got a whole nother setup for that. But that's going to be all, guys. We appreciate you tuning in. I will see you all later. Thank you so much, Ken. Thank you.